In this session, we'll be discussing XML document structure. An XML document often uses two support files. First, files that specifies its tag set and structural syntactic rules. Second, files that contain a style sheet to describe how, to, uh, how the content of the document is to be printed or displayed. Let's try to understand what XML entities are. XML entities are a way of representing an item of data within an XML document instead of using the data itself. For example, this entity, this one, ampersand GT with a semicolon represents this closing angle bracket where GT is the name of the entity. Entity names can be of any length. They must begin with a letter, a dash or a colon. After the first character, a name can have letters, digits, periods, dashes, underscores, or colons. A reference to an entity is its name appended, uh, prepended with an ampersand and appended with a semicolon. XML document consists of one or more entities that are logically related. One such entity is called document entity. The document entity serves as the root of the entity tree and a starting point for an XML parser. There are several reasons to break a document into multiple entities. It is good to define a large document as a number of smaller parts to make it more manageable. Also, if the same data appears in more than one place in the document, that is, instead of typing the text over and over again, you can define an internal entity to contain uh, the text and then you only need to use the entity where you want to insert the text. This avoids the problem of inconsistency among the occurrences. An entity must be declared in the DTD. Let's see an example. Notepad is opened. Let's try to declare an entity. We have already discussed that entity should be um, declared inside a DTD. We have, we'll discuss what DTD is um, and um, yeah, in next coming, uh, let's discuss what DTD and other things in detail in next coming videos. Okay, let's see how to do this. We are declaring the entity here. Entity. Let the entity name be college. Okay, and its value be government first grade college. This next will be the XML. This is the root tag. And let uh, the element be A. If you have to use this, you have to use a reference to it. This is the name of the entity and a reference of it will be like this with a prepended ampersand name and appended semicolon okay and we'll close this tag let's see how it looks okay this is how it looks okay okay let's try to add one more element Okay, we are trying to refer to the same value using the entity name. Okay, I hope this is clear.
Next, binary entities. Many documents include information that cannot be represented as text, such as images. Such information units are usually stored as binary data. If a binary data is logically part of the document, it must be a separate entity because XML documents cannot include binary data. Such entities are called binary entities. Next, C data. When several predefined entities like this, GT, ampersand GT, LT, apostrophe, quote, uh, when they must appear near each other in an XML document, the references clutter the content and make it difficult to read. In such cases, a character data section or C data section can be used. The content of the character data section is not passed by the XML parser. The form of a character data section is like this. Okay, there are certain rules to be f uh, followed for XML C data. Uh, first is it cannot contain the string something like this. It cannot contain a string like this anywhere in the XML document and nesting is not allowed in C data section. Okay, next, let's have a look at an example. Notepad is open and we have oh, saved it as an XML file. Example is the root tag again here. So if you have to write an element, say something like this, a um, thousand is less than 5,000, but greater than 500, we cannot directly use this, right? We have already discussed it. So instead of these symbols, we have to use these characters. We have to use the predefined entities like this, ampersand gt. Right, ampersand LT. Okay, it's the other way. It is greater than it is GT and this should be less than. Okay, let us see the output of it. So amp thousand is lesser than five thousand, but greater than five hundred. Let's see the output of it. Okay. Expecting a semicolon. Okay. Okay, we haven't appended this. Okay, okay, the output looks like this. If you have to use the characters instead of um, the predefined entities, we have to use or we have to put these things inside um, C data section. How do we do that? This uh, the form, the syntax for that is. C data, C data. Then the, these are the characters inside the C data section. And let's close it. Okay. So if you put this inside C data section, these these uh, this content will not be passed by the XML parser. Let's see the output of it. Okay. The output is like this. We haven't used any predefined entities. I hope this much is clear.